Hi, welcome back to channel Madam Wong. Today we are going to learn speed time graph part 3. How do you solve problems involving speed time graphs? Diagram show the speed time graph of the movement of a particle for a period of t seconds. Fine. The rate of change of speed in meter per second square in the first four seconds. Okay, so where is the first four seconds? Yeah, first four seconds is here. Okay, so when we want to find the rate of change of speed, we need to use formula change of speed over change in time. Okay, so here final speed 12 minus initial speed 4 over 4 minus 0. Also, we can use gradient to find the answer. Okay, the answer is 2 meter per second square. B. The distance in meter traveled at a constant speed. Okay, where is the constant speed? Constant speed is here. We call it as uniform speed also. The distance for speed time graph, we use area under the graph to find it. So, 9 minus 4, 5, 5 times 12. So you will get 60 meter. Now we look at C, the value of T. T is here. If the magnitude of the rate of change of speed after 9 seconds is the same as the magnitude of the rate of change of speed for first 4 seconds. Okay, so means that acceleration after 9 seconds uh, equal to acceleration for the first 4 seconds is here. Okay, before that we find already the rate of change of speed in first 4 seconds is equal to 2. So we go to C here. So here the rate is 2. So here is negative 2. So how? Because here is deceleration. So we need to put negative at the front because the answer is in negative. Okay, so negative minus b 0 minus 12 over time t minus 9 equal to 2. Okay, so negative, negative, positive. So 12 over t minus 9 equal to 2. Twelve equal to 2 times t minus 9. So I move 2 to the left hand side. 12 divided by 2 equal to t minus 9. 6 equal to t minus 9, t equal to 15. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.